My name is Brad Hall. When I'm thinking about buying a new pair of shoes, I look at a lot of factors. How much I like the shoe, what's the price, and maybe most importantly, how easy is it to put on? I picked up the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it, but then I tried it on in store, and my goodness, it was so easy to get my foot inside of it. I wanted to talk about that, and I thought, why not share my top five easiest to put on shoes? So that's what we're doing today. And let's get into that list. Number five, the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0. Seems like the opening's bigger on the 3.0. Stretchy prime knit. In with ease. Let's see if number two works that easy. Toes in. Horn on the back. Grab on tightly. Success. Number four, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350. No shoehorn on this one. I don't want to damage my Yeezys with it, so I just grab the tabs. Stretchy prime knit again. Give it a nice tug, and you're in. Notice I'm grabbing front and back tabs. You gotta grab them both. That's very key. It'll get you in there quicker. Here we go. And I'm in. Locked in, looking great. In a matter of seconds. Number three, the Nike Free Flyknit Mercurial. No shoehorn again on this one. It's got a really floppy top that makes it hard to use, but you also don't need it because there are two pull tabs. The pull tabs make it easy to get in quick. I'm gonna get in in under three seconds and go. Under three. Number two, the Michael Air Jordan 1. The best part of a fresh pair of Michael Air Jordan 1s, they come unlaced, so they're really easy to get into. Watch this. I like taking the tongue out, giving yourself a lot of space to get in. Get your shoehorn ready, and then keep a straight toe. Pretend you're a dancer, and then use the horn for a little help. That was easy. One more time, tongue out. Just like MJ. Straighten the toe. Now you're just gonna land that plane. Your foot's a plane, the shoe, a runway. Get that, a little help from the propeller or something. And then you're in. One caveat with the Michael Air Jordan 1, when they come unlaced, they're a lot easier than after you lace them, but it's still possible to get into them, and I'm gonna show you how. Still prop open that tongue. You're gonna get that horn in right away. Dip the toes and pull. You'll need to pull a little bit more. I still made it in. Second one, open up the tongue, shoehorn, toe, point, down, down, pull, 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 and in. Just that easy. One more caveat with the Michael Air Jordan 1. Some of the pairs come laced and laced pretty tightly. These are really hard to get on. I'm gonna show you just a little bit, but I can't show you at all because it would take forever. It's hard to pop the tongue out on these. Not much wiggle room. Shoehorn, get it in there. Barely can get into this opening. Way too much of a struggle. If you want an easy to try on pair, Go with the unlaced pair. And my number one, the Michael Air Jordan 11. This pair doesn't have stretchy prime knit. It doesn't have a giant floppy tongue that you can open wide up to get your foot in easily, but it's a great looking shoe and my motivation to get inside of it is incredible. I think that's what makes it so easy. Loosen up your laces, get them wide. You've got a decent opening still. Get your horn, be gentle. You don't want to damage the 45 on the back. And then go in. It's like my foot just wants to be inside. So effortless. Number two, horn. Slides right in. That feels good. And it looks good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this list helpful. 
If you have any question at all about whether or not a shoe is easy to try on, feel free to use the comments section. If I've tried it on before, I'll give you my honest answer. And if I haven't, I'll just make something up.